What is up? Long time no see, guys. It's Todd again from that best game review site you never heard of, playing the good, the bad, and the so bad it's good. All right, let's start with that honey-do list. Check me and my friends out at Way Too Many Games. Like, subscribe, check out our website at waytoomany.games. We're just a group of friends from around the globe, all different backgrounds and ages that met through and love gaming. So once again, welcome to TGI Friday, our weekly talk about VR and VR games we are playing or looking forward to. I normally like to keep these videos between five to 10 minutes, but I wanted to also show gameplay on this one. Today I am playing The Mage's Tale, and I'll let it play the entirety of the first level, which runs about an hour. Don't worry, my dumbass will shut up in another couple minutes. The Mage's Tale is an in-exile game in collaboration with Oculus. It came to Oculus about a year ago, but it's now finding a home on PSVR. Honestly, I really like this game. It reminded me a lot of Moss, which came out around this time last year. Neither is a blockbuster, but games that just stay enjoyable throughout. A classic dungeon crawler through and through. You play as an apprentice trying to track down and free your master while learning new elemental spells along the way. It makes use of the move controllers. You can change between free movement and teleporting slash rotating. In the beginning, your main combat will be using the shield against range attacks and using your fireball or lightning as your range attacks. You do gain other elemental attacks, and navigating the arenas becomes more and more necessary as you level through the dungeons. Leveling up your character gives you access to one of two options. You get to power up your shield or power up your health, or reduce your cooldown for the spells, things like that. As you can see, the graphics are good. Nothing is bad, but it does always feel a bit blurry. I'm sure it's much crisper on the Oculus, but playing on the PS4 Pro, it just constantly feels like I'm viewing this through a thin layer of water. When I do get close, it is better, but I still feel I've seen much cleaner games on VR. You're joined by a floating blue servant that helps you along the way. He's meant to be the comic relief, and it hits, sometimes. More often than not, I just tune him out. All in all, the game should run over 10 hours, so it does have some meat to it. The play is constant. It is a dungeon crawler, and you crawl through dungeons, solving the occasional puzzle, looting the occasional chest, fighting the occasional enemy. But it is also constantly enjoyable. I never felt there was a lull in pacing. I never felt there was a section too difficult that grinds the game to a halt. It never felt like baby's first dungeon crawler. Guys, if you do like what you hear and wouldn't mind more, or just want to come along this journey with a couple other friends that love gaming as much as you do, then please help us out, press like, Hit us up with a subscribe to keep up with our latest content. And make sure to visit us at the below links to see all of our content. So, welcome to the Mage's Tale, VR Dungeon Crawl. Hold a moment, apprentice. Let me feel ahead. The floor is rotten here, and it's a long way down if you fall. Oh yes, wouldn't that be terrible? The apple of the master's eye lost forever in a bottomless pit. So sad. No, <laughs> Crooks. Jealousy does not become you. Quiet. What was... Friends, I am coming for them. Their world is done. Master! Master, where did you... Ah, oh, stupid! 
stupid apprentice! You can't die! The master needs you! Quick! Through the portal! Before you're burned alive! Right, the site of the attack. Now, uh, this is not the site of the attack. I, ah, uh, I went off course. If only the master's friends were here, they'd know what to do. Sadly, I've no way to reach them. So I'm stuck with you. Oh, the master is doomed! Fireball to burn through those rickety boards. First, open your spell palette to examine your laughably minuscule library of cantrips. There, now hurl your fireball at the boards to burn them down. inside some sort of magical barrier. Who's doing this? <laughs> Was that a goblin? I better show you how to aim your spells. When the little beast shows up, focus on it. Your arcane sight will encircle it. Then throw your spell. Got it? Ah! There it is! Kill it! Focus and throw! When your arcane sight encircles him, throw your spell. Focus and grow. <laughs> All you have to do to hit it is look at it. <laughs> and now the barriers have faded. Hmm. This is some trick of that sorceress. I'm sure of it. Trapping us in with his minions, so we can't run. Diabolical. Mr. 
You can use those to change the effects of a spell. Just feed it to old Fergus there, and he'll send it back to the workshop for later. It'll be there for you when you get back, ready to use. And only smelling faintly of Fergus. Stand a chance. Look, your gem is glowing. There on your right hand. You're ready to ascend to the next level of your training. Touch and hold that star there to start your ascension. Good. Now hold. Yeah, you've done it. Go ahead, pick a relic. The gloves will make you healthier and harder to kill. Now revel in your newfound power and let's be on our way. Grab that thing before something terrible happens. Construction, isn't it? <laughs> Not that you need it, you stone hearted killer, you, but I found a health potion here. You can drink it now. Or you can stick it on your hip for later. To drink it, raise it to your lips. I'm sure you've done that before. To store it, hold it to your hip and release. 
It'll be there for you until you need it. promising treasure chest. You should open it. Turn to the workshop and give it a try. That way you can fail it right. The workshop is never more than a gesture away. Hold your hand straight above your head, focus your mind, and you will return there. Go on. Come on, just hold your hand directly above your head. You know, like you were asking your master to visit the little apprentice. Sweet home, eh, apprentice? With the master missing, I suppose it's up to me to teach you how to craft your first spell. Come, my doltish colt, approach the cauldron. Dearest Maeve, another attack. Mother Teasel of Iaran is dead. I fear we can no longer hope that these are unrelated occurrences. Someone is making a concerted assault on the keepers of the old ways. But who is behind it? And how do we fight it? Be watchful. I fear for your safety. I'll go in. Dearest Maeve. Dearest Maeve. First things first. Grab the storm decanter we just recovered and pour it into the cold. Don't be shy, child. Pick up the storm decanter and pour it into the cold. Ah, at last! You see that the cauldron is crackling with power now. That means our spell is almost ready. Now look at all those little bottles off to your right. Those are Master Alguin's painstakingly catalogued mystic ingredients. They can modify your spell in a myriad of ways. Why not grab one off the shelf and toss it into the cauldron to see what it does? Pretty! I didn't figure you for the artistic type. Now, stir it all together and finish your spell. Voila! You've made a lightning 
gem. Now grasp it and place it in your spell palette. Looks like you've learned the lightning spell. You can charge it up for greater effect. And if it's fully charged, it'll arc between foes. Sizzling whole groups. Alguin never let you play with his waystone court, did he? Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. The rune is set, the portal is activated. Go through to continue on our quest. our normally tranquil sewers with his loathsome pets. Whatever it is, they are not making this easy. Keep your wits back, bro. Lurks around every corner. Another thing I'm not prepared. Why did this sorcerer take our master? Why not simply kill him? Not that I wish he had, but I would have if it was me. I know too well how often heroes escape seemingly infallible death traps. It's infuriating! Ali oro, ali kenali oro, 
Keep an eye out. We're getting closer to where we were ambushed. What a foul deception. The master thought he was meeting an old friend who had sent a note saying he'd found evidence of who was behind the recent attacks. Instead, it was a trap. This would be so much easier if you could just levitate like me. What was that? It shook the whole place! Dearest Maeve, the perpetrators must be the Fatherites. They seem bent on the total eradication of the traditions and religions of Kaith. I saw Dalgalish earlier and warned him that the Temple's disapproval of us has become a full-fledged holy war. He said he already knew. The human customers for whom he makes jewelry and weapons have stopped coming. No new orders, unfinished work left waiting. They are afraid, it seems, to be seen wearing dwarf work these days. If you see Ringneck or the Green Lady, warn them too. Yours, Alguin.
can't enter. What is this? Hmm. A magic negation field. It appears to keep out all magic, including me. That means I won't be able to help you, and you won't be able to cast any spells until you come out the other side of it. Good luck! I didn't even know this room existed. I wonder if the master did.
frost jump. A lucky find. <laughs> your foes and watch it shatter on impact, freezing everyone hit by a shard. What's shaking the place? We best steer clear. You wouldn't last a second against a behemoth like that. <laughs>
one of Master Alguin's crystal balls. He's always forgetting where he's left them. Thankfully, Roscoe sells them, so it's easy to buy spares. Useful for seeing magically hidden things. Unawares. If only you'd kept better watch. Search for some sign of the villa. A scroll, a hair, a dropped ring. There must be something. <laughs> something. It took you long enough. Let me see. Ah, an orb. The fiend must have dropped it as he attacked us. Perfect. Quick, back to the workshop. 
If we show this to the Master's Magic Mirror, it will show the villain and his surroundings. We will know where he is. Where is it? It must be here someplace. It must be. Where have you hidden the Master's magic mirror? You absent-minded! Oh! Oh, I forgot. The Master sold the mirror. He didn't like me using it to... Uh, never mind about that. What's important is that the mirror is at Roscoe's Emporium. At least, it is if they haven't sold it. Quick, child! If you have spells to prepare, do so now! We must get to Roscoe's immediately! It's our only hope of finding where the Master has been taken!